What is up, everybody? I got a sick pair for you all today. Uh, really, for me. You know, I'm, I'm, it's my pair of shoes. But as you can see from the box, and you already know from the title and the thumbnail uh, what it is, uh, I have the Concepts collaboration with New Balance. They're made in the USA 998 C Note. And as you can tell from the shipping box, I got these online from Concepts. Was actually able to cop, oh boy, was actually able to cop relatively easy a few minutes after the drop in my size. My size uh, was 11 and a half. These retail for 220, so pretty steep. I mean, it is a collaboration. I wonder what a regular pair of 998s cost, probably like 200 flat. So throw on 20 for the collaboration, you know, the, the fancy packaging, the premium materials, the made in USA bump up because 70% or more of the materials are domestic or at least domestically assembled. I got a size 11 and a half. Um, concepts made in USA. That's U998. It's concept CN. Uh, these are covert green. I think the other, what's the other colorway, official colorway for these? Oh, sea salt. Sea salt and covert green. We'll, we'll take a look at those in a second. Um, before I unbox these and you look at them and then you click away, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. It's free. It takes a second. Boom, you did it. And um, yeah, I'm a little late with this video. I just got a little lazy. Uh, so if you're watching it, I know these, bit, these have already dropped. So I really appreciate you watching this if you um, are watching it because it is a little bit late. So yes, as you see, any made in the USA New Balances are contains a domestic value of 70% or more. So that means the materials are sourced from the United States or assembled here. So yeah. Uh, so you got concepts branding, the money on the box. I think we'll get into the backstory of these a little bit, but most of you already know, or there's other videos out there that do a better job than me. Um, these are a retro, if you will, of a 2013 pair, 10 years ago. They're doing these as the 10 year anniversary, 10th anniversary. And I think those had a different box. Here you go. There's the inside uh, concepts. And New Balance have nurtured a relationship based on ingenuity and communicated globally through a unique message. message. 10 years ago, this relationship fashioned an iconic 998 colorway. We celebrate the, that milestone and cherish those to come. Concepts does great collabs. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I have a hundred dollar bill. I'm gonna compare these. I'm gonna put them on feet. You're gonna get sizing. We're gonna go look at all the details. So please don't click away once you see them. Uh, Concepts does great collabs. One of my favorites is the Turduncans. Check that unboxing video out. I love these. I was recently in Boston when these dropped, actually. I just happened to be in Boston when these dropped, where Concepts is located. Um, so yeah, I'll talk more about that. Went to the Concepts store, but this is one of my favorite collabs. I also have the Asics Gel Light 3. The sushi ones or the the, the tuna um, ones and those are fantastic so here we go Woo. these are clean now i'll admit you know i'm a little bit on the the newcomer to the new balance wave but i am here and i appreciate these now would i have bought these a few years ago i don't know i was always into kind of runners and trainers sleek looking ones and like these i mean these would have been perfect in 2013 during that j crew era you know um so and these come full circle 10 years later they and they're they're retroed and these look these these look fantastic you can tell i mean 220 is steep and then when you taxes shipping i think it was like 255 like that's a lot for a shoe a quarter of a grand a couple c notes i mean if these were a hundy that would make sense, or 99.80, or 99.98, but uh, 200, uh, yeah, it was, it was tough to swallow, but these, you can just see craftsmanship, great, multiple different materials, uh, high quality materials, I think this is like real buttery pig suede, I think, I think that's what that is, let's get the other one out here, concepts, packaging, branding on the paper, uh, Concepts has done a number of collaborations with New Balance. So, if you didn't know, uh, I looked up before I started this what uh, you know C note comes from, the term C note, and it comes from like 
you know, uh, American gangster language back in the 20s and 30s, they referred to $100 bills as C-notes. And that stems from what people think is the Latin term centrum for 100 or a century. So there you go. You learn something. Yeah, that's what you come to my channel for. You learn something. Click subscribe, please. So, like I said, uh, I'm not going to go into all the comparisons of the old ones because I didn't have them. I don't have a pair. There's other channels that do a better job of that. Check out Sean Goh's video, uh, unboxing, try on, comparison to the old ones. He does a really great job breaking down the original pair and these from 10 years ago. And so go watch that. Uh, I do know the one difference is these have concepts, some of the coloring is slightly different. I think maybe the sole is a little bit different in areas, but yeah, I'll point out some quick things, then I'll try them on. Uh, and then we'll talk about like what if you, you know, if you like these, what you should do, etc, etc. Uh, so you have this really nice sea salt suede around the edge and here. That's, this is all mimicking the $100 bill that came out in 20, the new one that came out in 2013. It was kind of a big redesign. It's, it's I think since been um, changed a bit uh, over the years, but overall the main design is still that of the 2013s. I am not rich. I've had this $100 bill for like months. So this is this is not a flex. This is not a flex. Uh, so you, the, the most pr obvious thing is that blue stripe down the middle, uh, security stripe, and you got that right there. Uh, hint right there you got the copper kind of etching embossing right there you got the uh the reflective 3m hits across i learned what this term was sean used it in his video but i already forgot it but yeah you can see how the overall colors are very similar uh to the hundred dollar bill uh so really cool really cool back apparently back in 2013 they also did a mint pair uh, to kind of go along with this idea, but yeah, I I, uh, I dig it. Let's get a nice little 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 screenshot uh, thumbnail there. Perfect. You got the uh, leather N there, some suede underneath, the olive suede underneath, a little sock liner, very cozy sock liner here, ankle liner, New Balance on the inside, made in the USA, embroidered. There on the tongue, 998. This is my first pair of 998s. Very excited to cop a pair finally. First pair of 998s. Right now I have 990 V3s. I really like the 990 V3. Comfortable. I'm not going to say super comfortable, but comfortable. Very comfortable shoe. I think they're like, they look really good on feet. Uh, and, and just in general, I love the silhouette of the 990 V3. So do a lot of people right now. So I'm no, you know, I'm not unique. But I really enjoy the 990 V3. Check out this unboxing video. I've worn these now a few times. I've enjoyed them. But back to these. Uh, embroidered New Balance on the heel. Absorbed technology in the midsole. This exposed foam from the midsole kind of runs pretty low profile there. I can see this being scraped up quite easily. So it'll be, I don't know. We'll see how that plays. I think I maybe would have preferred, I guess, a little bit more of a raised rubber outsole there to protect this foam insole, uh, insole, uh, midsole layer, because uh, I can. But you know that just adds weight to the shoe potentially. So you know there's you know pros and cons. Nine nine eight branding on the heel, and yeah, hit at three M hits around the heel as well. There up on the, around the ankle, you got the mesh here. I think the mesh was a little different. I I liked I kind of like this asymmetric toe. A lot of times, you know, you get the very symmetrical uh, toe box area. I like the asymmetrical toe on the nine nine eight. And I think what what else do I have? The nine nine two fours. I think they are nine two fours. Yeah, kind of I kind of dig the asymmetrical toe box. Um, but yeah, these are fire. They come with two sets of extra laces. Uh, this olive colorway. I generally like the contrasting colors for laces. So we already got white in there. It's a little plain, kind of matches the N. I'm sure these would be clean, but I'm probably going to switch it up to either the contrasting olive green there, um, or you kind of got this, you got this dollar mint color right there. So 
I don't know if you can tell it in this video in this light, but this this right here is like a mintish green. Very, very light, subtle green. I think those would be fire in those too. You know? Let me know what laces um, you would put in these, um, but I think I'm not going to use the white. I'm going to use one of these two uh, to be determined. So I was, like I said, in Boston when these dropped. Uh, long story short, I didn't want to wake the girlfriend up drive her across town in an Uber to wait in a line to maybe not get my size. So woke up that morning, clicked the buy button online. I had to pay shipping. I wish Concepts would have had free shipping. So that's a kind of a bummer uh, for such a big purchase, but they didn't. Uh, and then, you know, but save the Uber ride. But that would have been an experience, right? Buying these at Concepts, or I could have risked it and gone to the New Balance flagship store, which I did go to, which was awesome. And that whole New Balance campus is humongous. Check it out if you're ever in Boston. Um, it's it's like quite the sight. Um, but I didn't. I played it safe. And then lo and behold, days later, I did make it my way to Concepts, did make my way to New Balance. And both days that I went there, they had pairs. Not many, not many, but they had my size apparently. So kind of missed out on making these extra special, but I did buy these while I was in Boston. So, and I did go to the store shortly after. So it's, it's still a story to tell, but it would have been cool to pick them up from the actual, from actually Concepts or the New Balance flagship store. So slight bummer but i did all what's important is i copped them and it happened to be in boston and that's that's the story uh concepts cool store check it out if you go there um like i said check out the new balance concept uh, uh the new balance flagship store and the outlet store factory outlet store if you get a chance uh what else what else so these did not sell out prices if you want these are somewhat reasonable it was weird i feel like the smaller sizes lingered like a full day two days but now they're the expensive uh, ones on StockX. like if you go maybe there's just less supply bigger sizes like mine for once were sold out quicker i feel like but at the same time they are cheaper on the secondary market so i don't know what that's about but if you missed out on these uh check your size they right now these are you know, not too crazy over resale. Now the retail price to begin with was steep and you're gonna pay fees, shipping, taxes, all that jazz. But, you know, uh, again, we're not in 2020 or 2019, 2021 where shoe prices are crazy. So that's that's cool that you can get the, like people who wanted these for the most part could get them. Uh, okay, I was slightly worried about going true to size on these. I almost went half size up and I'm a little worried about the tightness around the top of the shoe. I should lose some weight and these might fit better. I'm really a little worried. Some people say go like half size down, like that's crazy. Do not, in my opinion, do not, do not go a half size down. Only go true to size or half size up. To be safe, I would, you know, feeling these out, I'd maybe go half size up. I hope these still work on me they're just really tight new balance are always really tight across the top it's not a length issue it's not a width issue it's neither of those it's just they hug across where your toe your toe knuckle where your toes meet your foot the upper of your foot um it's just tight sometimes if you go too small so that's that is an issue um I think I'll be able to, uh, I think they'll be fine. I think too, if I lose some damn weight and you know, your foot can go down like up to a half size, I think that would help. Um, so yeah, my suggestion is go half size up to be safe. Unless you know your 998 size, then you know, do that. But uh, be safe, go, go half size up. If you wanna risk it, go um, true to size. The lengthwise, I think it will be fine. Um, but yeah, I, I just hate, I'm just gonna have to lace these loose. I think they'll be fine. But yeah, if you are, if you're into these, check out prices online. They're not too bad. I love the look of these. These look sick. Uh, really sick. Can't wait to lace these up. Uh, I think they'll fit fine. Seem comfortable. I've heard... I've heard these aren't the most comfortable New Balances, but in general, New Balances are pretty comfortable. 
like compared to like a Jordan 4, you know. <laughs> compared to a retro basketball shoe, New Balance are pretty comfortable. So yeah, recommendation, go half size up to be safe. If you wanna risk it, risk your, your hard earned money, your C notes, go true to size. It's always tough with these cause you can't just like exchange these easily. So um, yeah, that's, that's the video. Oh, I didn't get exclusive access to these. Some people uh, got exclusive access through like the concepts mailing list. I think you have to have bought, you know, one of their collabs in recent, the recent calendar year to get those offers because I used to get those exclusive access offers and I didn't get it on this but it's been a minute since I bought a concepts collab so maybe you know I think th I think that's that's your ticket is if you have bought from them they reward loyal customers which I think is dope um, but I didn't get on this and didn't have a problem all right thanks for watching let me know what you think of these um, maybe I'll reply in the comments if uh, you know these fit better laced up but they're pretty tight unlaced so i'm a little a little worried here we'll see we'll see but i do love these what am i going to give you these for a rating um i mean i think these are like an 8.5 out of 10 straight up 8.5 out of 10 that's what i'm giving these they look real clean on the foot i think these will go with like pretty much everything except bright colors any earth tones uh these will go with so uh real easy to wear uh super fire pair uh, congrats to Dion Point and the team at Concepts. Uh, these are a banger. Peace.